All right, so now we move into uh, the do, hyper growth, okay? How do we hyper grow a business? Well, it's pretty simple. We start putting these pieces all together and now we start to do resource reallocation, okay? You will never know this if you don't do this. You'll never know how to reallocate if you don't do this. And I promise every single one of you, if you do this, you will recover and be able to reallocate a lot of time and possibly a significant amount of money that you are, you're allocating to all the wrong places, okay? So it's really important that, you know, this is investing in yourself, in your business, okay? And, and most importantly, separating a hobby from a true business okay those are two very different things um you know you have to uh put the you've got to put the capital the time the effort all these things um because basically we kind of all started out here as a hobby i mean pretty much i mean even apple started as a hobby Microsoft started as a hobby. They all started as hobbies. And then they went into true businesses. Okay, you're the only one that knows that though. Okay. And when you invest in your business, the point is to hyper grow that business and reallocate these pieces that you identified as things that were either money savings, uh, you know, product market testing, even so on and so forth, just, just different things like that. I assume some of you do that with physical products, you test the marketplace. Um, and then make sure that your product or your service, whatever it is, it's the right thing. Not, not just because you love it, you know, because you love a product doesn't mean other people love a product. Now, I don't know how many times I have worked with uh, like executive coaches that create, they'll create content or create courseware and then take it to the marketplace. You know, test the market first. Do pre launches, do pre sales first, and then launch that into the marketplace and that's what a lot of people do not do they just go oh i love this product it's amazing great you love it <laughs> but that doesn't mean everybody else is going to love it okay people towed up cbd oil like it is the best thing next to sliced bread i mean i i couldn't even tell you one thing about it but a lot of people use it a lot of people sell it but that doesn't mean everybody likes it, okay? So it's just really important to, you know, if you bring a new product line in, test it first before you get crazy and, and uh, start warehousing a lot of product or if you got a service, okay? Um, there again, goes back to time allocation and sourcing of product, okay? And that has to do somewhat also with knowing your customer, okay? Building out that customer avatar. All of you got that, especially if you're doing very pinpointed marketing because um, you're all doing some form of marketing, I assume, either Google or uh, Facebook, whatever the case may be, all right? Know your avatar. Know who your audience is. If you know that, you're drastically going to increase your sales. Um, if you all took the time to look at that avatar sheet that I provided, that's the actual avatar for my own business. And it's very in depth. Um, and if the more in depth you get with that, the better off you're gonna be. Okay, I always say you should know your ideal customer down to what they eat for breakfast. Okay. That's important to know all that stuff, okay? So uh, 
hyper growth is hockey stick growth. Okay. And we, we, we can do that kind of growth if we infuse the business with what's required. Okay. But if you, if you can't put the capital into scaling your business, cause that's what we're talking about here. This whole, this, this, all of these sessions we're doing every month is we're talking about how do I take my business and grow it and scale it. Okay. Well, how do you grow? You grow through people process procedure. How do you scale? Scale is through monetary. Okay. But they've got to be done together. You have to do them simultaneously. Otherwise, you get yourself in the situation where, okay, I've grown past my monthly budget or what I'm bringing in. Now I'm paying employees more than I'm bringing in. And I see that a lot with small companies because they don't want to let people go. And then they just struggle for months and months and months and months. And then they become the 93% business failure okay so put all that stuff into place and you know again it all comes back here to this time study okay you can't know anything what we've already talked about in these last in these two sessions that we've done you can't know any of this until you do this okay how do you know where to focus on your business? If your time, you don't even know where your time is going. If your time is, is spent, uh, you know, on chasing around emails from customers, don't do that stuff. I mean, you can put somebody in place for super cheap for that. Anyway, the, uh, some of the, the most important takeaway from here today for all of you is going to be do the time study, okay? Do the time study and, and figure out where your time is going so you can then reallocate it to the place that makes the most sense, okay? Um, we all burn senseless time. There's uh, nobody's ever gonna say that we don't um, throughout our week have time that is not, couldn't be allocated in different directions. We all do. Um, but we can maximize that with the most potential possible, okay? And, and put that time into investing in the business and investing in yourself, okay? It's like I always tell people in, in my industry, and I only work with executive level, um, C-level type business owners. And there's always time no matter what. There's time, um, even with a big, huge company, that they could be investing more into their business from a 30,000 foot platform versus being so in the weeds, okay? Because when you truly get to start looking from, looking from a 30,000 foot platform at your business, which is what I get to do on most businesses, it's easy to start to see where all the leaks are in the bucket. Okay. You can start to identify that where all those leaks are. All right. And that's really important because business is what it's very mechanical. You do a B C to get D of a result. All right. It's not rocket science. It's not rocket science at all. But it's making sure you've done the things, not just for your business, but for here, this plan, your business plan and life plan. 